A Boeing 737 MAX has been cleared to fly again in Indonesia. That's more than three years after a Lion Air crash there that killed all 189 people on board. Some of the victims' families have protested the approval. Less than five months after the October 2018 crash into the Java Sea, another Boeing 737 MAX operated by Ethiopian Airlines crashed there after takeoff from Addis Ababa with 157 casualties. Now more than 180 countries have lifted their bans on that aircraft. In this tight labor market, even employers like Apple have to get creative. The company is offering unexpected stock bonuses of $50,000 to $180,000 to some software engineers. That's according to Bloomberg. The awards best over four years. That's a retention incentive. Apple and Meta are engaging in a particular war for talent with Apple hiring Meta employees and Meta learning about 100 engineers from Apple over the past few months. And a trio of deaths intersecting the worlds of finance, sports, and politics over the past day. James Kane, the one-time longest-serving CEO on Wall Street as chief of Bear Stearns, has died at 87. Known as Jimmy, Kane oversaw explosive profit growth, followed, of course, by Bear Stearns' spectacular collapse at the end of 2007 after the storied firm took on too much risk on his watch. John Madden, Hall of Fame coach, broadcaster, and known to a generation of gamers through EA's Madden NFL football, is dead at the age of 85. Madden's record as coach of the Oakland Raiders remains among the best in league history, and his fame only grew after he became a broadcaster after retiring at age 42. He won 16 Emmy Awards in that role, but said he always considered himself a coach first. And former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid was known as a pugnacious, effective Democrat steering the Affordable Care Act to passage. He rose from childhood poverty in the town of Searchlight, Nevada, to serve in the Senate for three decades. Harry Reid was 82.